I want to talk a little bit about components that we can attach on our game objects. So we know that we can create a game object by going under game object and create empty. Also, every well sprite or anything that we add here in the hierarchy panel is counted as a game object. So here we have an empty game object, I named it universal. If we take a look in the inspector panel, we have a transform and we have a universal script. Those are the components attached on our game object basically. Now at the moment we only have two components attached on our game object, but we see that we have this button here which says add component, we can click on it. And here we can search different components that we can add to our game object. Now basically this is a 2D game, so mostly we are going to add well what's from physics 2D. So here we have a rigid body, a collider which will detect collision. We can also add audio which is an audio listener or a source. We can also add well here in miscellaneous we can add an animator when we want to animate our components basically. So here I will just well add an animator and I will go back again and here in physics 2D I will also add a rigid body. So now we have four components attached on our game object. Now why is this important and why am I adding these well components to our game object? Well basically if we go back in the script here we can get a reference to these components in our script and we can manipulate them. So here I can create an animator and I will name it anim. I can also create a rigid body 2D and I will also name it my rigid body like this. And now we can get a reference to these components in our script and we can manipulate them. So how can we do that? Well here we can for example say for the animator, so we can say anim is equal to get component, so it will be get component and here we will pass the animator. So the syntax goes like this. Now you might be wondering how can we use the get component function to get our animator but we did not define this function anywhere in our class. Well, it's because of this line or piece of code right here. What this piece of code denotes is that we are inheriting from mono behavior. What that basically means? Well, that basically means that we can create a class and that we can model that class. And when we inherit from that class by using this syntax, so colon and then name of the class, so mono behavior is the name of the class. That means that when we inherit from the class, we inherit the properties and the functions that that class has and we can use them as if they were our own properties defined here in this same class. So for example, we can inherit from our player class here and we can then use these functions, so move and attack here in our universal class as if we have declared them in this class. Now back to our subject, so here we got our animator component using this get anim and here we can say anim.play to play the animation, so on and so forth. We will see this later on well, when we get the animator and work with animations basically. The same way we got our animator component, we can get our rigid body. So we can say rigid body or my rigid body is equal to get component and here we can pass our rigid body 2D. So let me just type that right. And each component that you want to get, you will simply pass the name of that component here and you will get that component. But remember that component needs to be attached here on our game object and we see that we have a problem. So basically I just well mistyped here I'm getting animation and I need to get the animator. So it's not animation, it's the animator that we want. And as I said, these components need to be attached on our game object in order for this to work. Now we see that we also have this script attached, so does that mean that we can get the script? Yes, that means that we can get the script. So here we can for example say universal, which is the name of our script, and we can say script is equal to, and we can say get component, and here we can say universal, here we are passing the name of the component in order to get that component again that script is attached to our game object basically and that's why we can do this and we can now well manipulate this script basically. Now some properties or some components we don't need to use get component in order to get them. One of these are or is the transform property or component that is attached on our game object. So we can access the transform simply by typing transform and we are accessing it. We don't need to create a transform variable and then name it transform or trans for example and then using get components. So there is no need 
for transform component well to do that so here we can simply say transform and then we can access the position we can then access the properties basically of our transform but basically this is for transform other components that you attach you will need to well use get components so for example for the rigid body for the animator as we saw well in our script and in our example here